friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my studio. You know I'm always thrilled to have you. So today's video actually came from a few questions that I got from people that it was something that I would not have really thought that people were curious about, but it turns out a lot of you are. So I have gotten questions about what to do with used oil paint. Today I'm gonna go over what to do with used oil paint that you wanna continue using, like how to preserve it, as well as what to do with used oil paint that you are done with and you're ready to throw away um, in a responsible way. So stick around, hopefully this will help you out because I guess a lot of people are really curious what to do with it. Um, and make sure you pop that subscribe button so you keep getting all the artsy goodness and uh, yeah, enjoy the show today guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so first let's chat about a few different ways that you can save your oil paint that you want to actually reuse later to be able to paint later. So one of the best methods, once you're done on your regular palette, is to literally scrape your paint off into really good jars. You're going to want to find good glass jars that have really good, like, um, air proof, you know, oxygen proof, whatever, lids that are really going to stay on there. And what you can do is use one jar per color or you can even like, you know, take your paint palette and maybe scrape one color here, one color here, one color here, that kind of thing. Um, it's not ideal because it's, you know, kind of a mess and it's back and forth and obviously you're going to need a lot of jars if you have a lot of colors. but. It works, it's fine. It's, it's especially good if you wind up accidentally mixing like a huge pile of color and you're like, uh, I think I could use that like a few more times. Jars will be good for something like that. Conversely, if you want to like save your palette, like um, a really good method is to just use the lid of a Tupperware. So I actually discovered this method. I think it was in an art class I did where the teacher just gave every student a Tupperware and you can do a piece of wax paper in here and just literally mix and use this as your palette and then at the end of the day, you put your Tupperware on top. Now, it makes, it's weird, you'd think you want to do this way, but actually it's much easier to blend and everything with like a flat top than it is to do with the ridges. So that's why you would actually do it on the lid. And um, it's something which I tried, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes, um, which I had heard recently about was to actually put this in the freezer. So yeah, I had never tried that before, but I tried it with you guys and I'm gonna show you the results. So I actually, you can store it like this overnight, which works pretty well, or you can stick it in the freezer. Um, and then there is another method. So if you use a palette like this, another method that I really recently heard about is to actually submerge your whole palette in water. Yeah, like literally just get something that is bigger than your palette, leave the oil paints on it, and because you know the old, the old expression, oil and water don't mix, um, it just stays right in the water. So I'm going to try both of those methods for you and uh, I'm going to show you how the results work on both of those. And um, real quick, um, for one of my art classes, I remember a te the teacher gave us like palettes and then we used saran wrap and tried to saran wrap it. And that really didn't work, honestly. Like it wound up being kind of a mess, like because you put the saran wrap on and then half your paint comes on, so you're or off. So you're like trying to scrape it back on there, and you really can't get saran wrap to be like totally airtight anyway. So it was pretty ineffective, and it was just kind of a mess. And it wound up wasting plastic and wasting paint. So don't even try to saran wrap your um, palette. It's kind of a pain. Personally, for me, I don't do any of these things on a regular basis. What I do is I just lay out the paint that I'm going to use and try to paint as much as I can for like, you know, two to five days or whatever using that color that I need to use it and then I'm done and then I remix and then I go to another part of the painting or whatever. So personally, I don't really tend to save paint, but these are a few methods that I've used and some methods that people have told me about. So as far as freezing my palette goes, I literally just put it in the freezer. No big deal, right? Now, as I've never used either of these methods before, of course, I want to make sure to give my YouTube fam all the best information. So I went ahead and left the palette submerged and the other one frozen for 48 hours and pulled them out. Here is the palette that was underwater. And as you can see, everything is coming out really nicely. It's kind of amazing. I'm used to there being like a hard crust on paint after you go to use it after a few days and this just came out super smooth. Now I'm going to try out the one that was frozen. The frozen one I took out 
and left on the counter for about two hours before I went to use it. It was definitely a little bit stiffer, but still quite pliable. There was no hard outer crust like I'm used to. Pretty amazing. Now, if you're curious what to do with old paint, like you scraped it off your palette, it is no good. It is ready to get in the trash. You actually don't want to put it in your regular trash because there are some unfortunate and unpleasant things. Even in the best of oil paint, some of the pigments and stuff are just not great for trash. So what you should be doing with all of your old paint, as well as any old rags or anything like that, is storing them in some kind of jar that is airtight, that is makes it fire tight and that you leave it um, outside of direct sunlight in your studio for proper disposal at uh, proper facilities in your area. Um, stick around, I'm gonna show you my experience with doing that here on Hawaii, but that is one thing you can do is literally just like scrape it up and put it in your refuse jar. Or if you wanna be a special kind of psychopath like your favorite little bird, you can save all of your old scrapings of oil paint in glass jars for no particular reason. That works too. <laughs> I obviously do a combination of both and it seems to serve me well, although I don't really know why. <laughs> so luckily there is a trash disposal collector service that's pretty close to my house, which I've driven by about a thousand times and finally just figured, hey, I think Today's the day. Let's drop off these rags and see what happens. Here, hang out at the beach park. I just dropped off my um, old like turpinoid towels, and it was like such a quick thing. I was like, oh, I guess I got a little time. I can go enjoy myself. But uh, yeah, I literally just like pulled up and had my jar with the rags in it, and this friendly guy with like big rusty shirt covered in tattoos came up, grinning, and was like, hey, like how can I help you? And I just walked up and said. Like, hi, I'm an oil painter and I have these like rags and things. They have, you know, some oil paint and some turpinoids and stuff on them. And I know I'm not supposed to throw these in the trash. Like, what, what do I do with them? Can you help me? And he was just like, sure, I'll take them. And I was like, great. Like, the, you know, like expecting it might be like a drop off fee. And he's like, yeah, no problem. Like, love your hair, have a great day. <laughs> and I was like, okay, fantastic. So yeah, I mean, I think you guys, it's as easy as literally just bringing them in a container so that, you know, it doesn't get stuff all over your hands or their hands and like just dropping it off. I mean, and if you are really, really good and you really like use, um, like don't use a lot of paper towels, guys. Use old t-shirts and stuff. Like you really shouldn't be using very many paper towels. It's wasteful. Use old t-shirts and really cram them down in that jar and use them until they are like hard as rocks. And you guys, I have literally only had to do that one time in almost four years. So you shouldn't have to, to do it a lot. Seems like it's a, a pretty pretty much a non-issue to bring it to the recycling center, so that's great. I mean, I shouldn't say recycling, it's probably just both. It's probably gonna incinerate it, but at least I know I just throw it in the trash and it winds up in a landfill seeping into this beautiful island that we really don't need horrible things like that seeping into. So anyways, I just thought I would share my experience. I was going to, um, like I was kind of thinking about bringing my phone and being like, hey, you like, you know, mind if I ask you like for my YouTube channel, like, oh, what are you gonna do with it? But I didn't wanna come off as like, oh, is she some weird like investigative journalist or something like trying to figure out like if we're properly disposing of crap, I don't know. So I just, I heard, like, I read it last night, I was like, no, that could come off as really weird and like not friendly. So anyway, so I decided not to film it. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun, easy, fast, whatever experience. The guy had a big grin and was happy to help, yay! Thanks for being here today, guys. I hope you learned so much. Pop that subscribe button and I will see you next time.